Hey, this is Trish. And uh, today I'm outside because today's video has to do with the cold. It's going to get down to about 30 degrees tonight, which again may not be cold up north, but down here on the Gulf Coast, this is very cold for us. It was 21 degrees the other night. And um, the reason why I wanted to do this outside, just to talk about something that happened today, I was on the bus coming back from the grocery store and the bus driver, as we were waiting, she opened the door for a guy who came up to the bus while we were waiting and she knew him and I could tell just by looking at him that he was homeless and um, he was letting her know that he was going to catch her on the way back. Uh, he was going to wait the 90 minutes, he had some shopping to do, a little bit of shopping and, uh, and she was asking him, she said, are you going to the shelter tonight? Because it's going to get down. He said that it wasn't supposed to get too cold or not cold enough for the shelter to open up to let some of the homeless in the area come in. And this was kind of shocking to me. I had forgotten that the shelter is not open every night. It's only open on the most hot nights and the most cold nights of the year. And uh, what really got me thinking was that, you know, homeless people are in every city. They're in every town. It doesn't matter what city you're in. It doesn't matter how rich your town is. And my town is a very wealthy town. We still have homeless people. And it just kind of reinforced this idea that uh, maybe it's time to do some spring cleaning. Spring cleaning here in the winter, get rid of some stuff and donate it to a local shelter. Um, maybe you have kids that have, uh, you know, moved on to college, they've moved out. Maybe they have uh, blankets or comforters or sheets, bedding uh, that you no longer really need or they just take up space in a back closet somewhere. Uh, maybe you could donate that to a shelter. You know, these guys, I see the homeless because I walk all the time. You know, I walk outside here in my town and so I see the homeless and most of the homeless are men. And in fact, I've only ever seen one homeless female. Um, all these people that are homeless around here are men. And the sad thing is that most of them are veterans. Uh, they, they have nowhere to go. And it's, it's just, it's sad to see them. Um, they are not sad. It seems like, I don't know, some, in some Bye -bye. ways they've just come to terms with their, with their life. However, I still think it's very, very sad that they have to go through that. So what I would suggest is that if you know somebody who um, is in need to maybe help them, if you have extra supplies, uh, blankets, sheeting, uh, bedding that you can donate to a shelter, that would be amazing. Um, because these guys really have nowhere to go and they have no help otherwise because these shelters are not open all the time. So. Um, I feel badly. I mean, I wish I could do more. Um, I've been down to the shelter that's here in Ocean Springs, and every time I've been, they haven't been open. But they have hours posted, so I don't know. I'll keep trying. But um, anyway, just a thought for the day that, you know, one of the things that really annoys me the most about the whole Christmas season is that people are all about, you know, love and taking care of other people and sharing the, you know, wealth, et cetera, et cetera until New Year's hits and it's time to take down the decorations and then suddenly people are just back to being very insular and not caring as much about what goes on around them. I know we're all busy. I know we have busy lives. I know we have deadlines and things that we have to do. We have to take care of our own, but you know, part of our own is the people in the community and especially for these people who've risked their lives, you know, as veterans, um, I think they deserve a little more. They deserve help. So just a thought for the day. If you if you have stuff you can donate, please do. If you um, don't know what to do, just call up your local community organizer. Maybe they know. Maybe they have an idea. But uh, it's getting a little busy. It's getting a little colder here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. But just a thought for the day. Be on the lookout. And if you can help somebody, please do. All right. Bye.